Hey YouTube, this is P with the Chris Casino Band. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, what can I say? Things have changed so much since we dropped Maryland House. So if you've streamed it, I just really want to thank you for that. Um, we put so much hard work into the album, so to have anybody listen to it, it just means so much to us. So we dropped it about a month ago, and there's been some nuts things. Like, uh, we were on TV, um, local DC News on Fox 5 here. Uh, I do need to clarify that it's not political Fox News. This is local Fox News. No, it's not even Fox News, it's just local news. Um, yeah, but it, we had such a good experience on the morning show Good Day DC. Our good friend Jake Britton is a programmer there and was able to get us on. And we're so grateful for him for, uh, for helping us out there and being able to do that. And wow, it was just such an incredible experience. Today is really exciting because we are going to be on TV today. I'm on my way to the Metro right now in order to go up to uh, Bethesda where they shoot Good Day DC and I'm about to meet the guy. So I'll, I'll see you guys there. Uh, they had uh, their own like little private green room for us where we just kind of hung out and waited a little bit. Um, there was like a like a little closet room where like there was a mirror if you wanted to do your makeup. Uh, I didn't get any work done. What you saw on the TV was just all, all natural beauty right there. And then eventually they, they mic'd us up. We got these little like boom lapel mics. And then we walked over to the next door room. Uh, we heard someone on TMZ talk about Kim Kardashian stalker. And then just like that, they cut it to the Chris the Casino band. Yeah, uh, we just wrapped up. I think it did really well. Chris a little too much. Yeah, right. Jordan Jordan has quite the potty mouth. I took my shirt off at one point. I probably might not make it to live TV. But yeah. yeah. I mean, we'll. We'll play the, the footage for you guys right now. Woo. Taking them straight off of your uh, YouTube screen to the Fox 5 loft. That's the Crystal Casino Band. And if you haven't yet heard of them, you will soon because the local indie rock group has hundreds of thousands of streamers. And a new album, Maryland House, coming out on Friday. But first, this morning, members Pete, Joey, Jared, and Jordan join us to talk about their love of DMV and its music scene. Good to have you guys here. Thank you so very much for coming in. Yeah, thank you so much. We're, we're so grateful for the opportunity to tell you guys about our album. How cool is that, though? You know, you're going to be playing guitar or whatever on the, on the stage yeah. as a headliner at 930 Club. For people who have been in D.C. for a while, how big of a deal is that for you? It's pretty big. It's like the venue. It's been around for decades now, and it's just... It's just like a culmination of so much work we put in, and like we have to thank the fans for this, honestly. We can't be yeah. more grateful for that. You're getting there. The so new album comes out on Friday? Friday, yes. And then the album release party at 930 Club is? February 9th, 2023. We hope to see you there. All right, yeah. yeah, and then uh, we've also performed at the 930 Club in uh, on February 9th, and that was just like, wow, I can't, I can't believe we, we, we did that. Um, We've been a band in Washington, D.C. for over eight years, and that is such an iconic venue. I don't think that we ever, one, I don't think we realized the band would last this long, and two, I think that it, when we were in college, we never really expected that we would one day headline, so to be able to do that was an honor. Like, over a thousand people were there, and so I, it just blows my mind that uh, that our music can reach so many people and so many people enjoy it. Like, it's such a, such a humbling experience and a heartwarming experience to, to know that our, our music can connect with that many people. Jeff Draco opened our good friend, Jeff Draco, uh, and he killed it. Um, we had our good friend, Matt Tronowski. He did some stand-up bits in between. We did the album Maryland House in its entire entirety, the, uh, all 13 songs in order. There were some really great moments, but there were also some moments where I was like freaking out on stage. Uh, at one point, uh, Jared's uh, pedal board was malfunctioning right as we walked up on stage. There was another time where uh, my guitar was like very out of tune and I couldn't figure out how to exactly get it to sound right. So well, while I was like tuning and everything, I couldn't figure out which string was wrong. So I realized that the first three were okay. So I relearned the song within power chords that would sound okay. So I had to quickly like think on my feet and uh, translate the chords from how I normally play them with all six strings to just three. Uh, but other than those like two little hiccups, which I don't think the fans like really notice, it's kind of like that, that saying like you, someone will come up to you and be like, oh, great set. And then you go, yeah, well, we actually could have done this, 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 and this, and this. Um, I see a lot of memes like that on this account, band meme 666. But um, yeah, I don't think that anybody in the actual audience noticed that. Guys, a lot of things have been happening in the TCCB world. Uh, I just wanted to update you. So seriously, like if you've been a part of this ride, thank you so much for uh, for getting us to this point. Like I, yeah, we're we're all just so grateful to even be like 
given a platform by you guys to, to let us let us do this. Like it's such an honor. So we really thank you. And yeah, I hope that you enjoy this video and I hope that we can see you guys in the, in the next one. Take care. Put it in this screen on him. Show him on there now. Give me this. What up, brother? I, I'm, so stop, glad stop. To, Hold on. I'm so glad to finally be on screen. I would like to say, out of the seven unreleased songs, I am very proud of Curfew and Quarter Life, and I really hope that the fans enjoy those songs. And they do! Thank you, thank you they do!